Hey guys, Troy with Mountain Man Treasure here. I am a part-time reseller. Pick up things at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, wherever we can find them, even retail stores, and sell them online, primarily on eBay. Uh, and we've been doing pretty well. And uh, mostly what I've been doing is what solds here on the channel. Uh, that, that's something that I enjoy watching from other resellers to find out what it is that sells. Uh, I've learned a lot from watching what sold videos. Um, but I also enjoy thrift hauls and I figure we're starting a new year. We might as well start off with a thrift haul, right? So I went to the thrift store on, uh, these aren't from today. Today is uh, the first day of 2020. Picked these up on the last two days of 2019. So these were back to back trips at two separate thrift stores. On, uh, on Monday, we went to Goodwill and uh, picked up just a couple of things. On a Tuesday, went to a local thrift store called Good Samaritan uh, Ministry. It's Good Samaritan Ministries Thrift Store is, is the full name. We just call it Good Sam. Um, they tend to be a little bit overpriced on much of their stuff, if not most of their stuff. Um, but if, if you look, you can pull out gems. And I've done pretty well pulling shoes out of there in the past. And I'm making a, uh, a focused effort on pulling out more shoes because I kind of got away from that and shoes are fantastic things to flip. So uh, I, I've, I've really put some focus on flipping shoes lately uh, here in the last few weeks, intentionally looking for good shoes to flip. And uh, so that's what I did the last couple of days, specifically uh, at, at Good Sam yesterday uh, was sort of the focus, but uh, ended up getting one pair at Goodwill as well. Okay, so first let's look at the stuff that we picked up on Monday from Goodwill. And the first two things I actually have listed already, so we'll, we'll start with those. Um, the first thing, this was a dollar, it was half off, it was normally $1.99, it was a pink tag, pink, pink tags were, uh, were $1 on Monday. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer tail, I, I think. Um, but it's got some good things going for it. It's a vintage thermos. It's Aladdin. That's something you want to look for. Um, Aladdin is a big name when it comes to thermoses and uh, collectible travel mugs, that sort of thing. Um, so it's Aladdin. It's a, it, it's a thermos. It's vintage. It's in really good shape. There's not a lot of scuffing and scraping. The graphics are all still there. We got oil, Husky oil. So oil in general, Husky oil specifically. Um, and Husky haulers special, we got trucking. So this checks a lot of boxes and it just kind of looks cool. It's got cool graphics. Everything is together. We got the cap, um, you know, the, the, the cup, we've got the, the lid. So I think this is going to be pretty good. I did already list this. I'm hoping for anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks plus shipping on this one. We'll see. Like I said, I think it's going to sit for a while, but I couldn't, couldn't let it sit there because I just, I, I thought it looked too cool. So this is going to be eventually, I think a good one. Something else we picked up that I know is a good one is, uh, yeah, it's this guy. If you've seen Jeff Dunham, he's a ventriloquist. I think he was on America's Got Talent um, and, and won that thing. He's got a show in Vegas. This is one of his characters. I think it's Peanut is the name. Um, it is. It's Peanut. And this thing is <laughs> its creepy. You're not going to forget this face. If you see this now, you're going to know. And, and I just got caught by the face. I thought I need to look this thing up. The sell-through rate on this thing, guys, is ridiculous. If you look up Jeff Dunham Peanut Plush. Um, it's supposed to have a, a shoe. It's either a red or a green shoe. Um, so this guy's missing that. So that hurts the value a little bit. Uh, but these things sell pretty routinely for like 30 bucks. So I'm hoping without the shoe, we can get anywhere between 20 and $25 for this thing. It was $2.99. So not going to make a ton of profit on it, but it's a plush, it's a light. And the sell through rate was ridiculous. I picked up a watcher overnight. I've already gotten a low ball offer. So this guy's going to go before too long. So keep an eye out for peanut. Uh, I did get one other plush. Uh, I haven't looked up any comps on this thing yet. I just picked it up because it was too cool not to pick up this from uh, I got to remember now I don't remember the date 1989 it's from Trans World Trading of California made in Paramount uh, well the based in Paramount California I think it was actually made in Korea um, it's like a white monkey um, it's got its eyes buried deep in there uh, the, the mama monkey holding on to the baby monkey um, it's just too cool and it, it's about I mean it's big this thing's about the size of a little bit bigger than a bat. Well, about the size of a basketball, really. So I don't know. I, I keep an eye out for different looking plushes, um, alligators, kangaroos, wombats. Picked up a wombat one time. Um, 
so anything that's different that somebody's going to collect and people love monkeys I don't know how many white monkeys from 1989 are out there. So comping may be difficult, but I would guess maybe $29.99 type of thing, $34.99. I don't know. We'll see, but too cool to leave behind. This was this was $3.99. So paid up for it a little bit, but I think it's going to pay off. So that was our other plush. Uh, we do have uh, one pair of shoes. Uh, these, they I know they look, they're, they're pretty basic, right? But they're Nikes. Uh, black and gold, that my uh, my high school colors, actually. The Billings West High Golden Bears. These are uh, women's basketball shoes. The number, they're size 7.5. Made in 2016. They are 844-907-002. Um, fairly, fairly basic looking, but the comps on these are really good. Not a lot of them available. I, I don't think there were any uh, in the size 7.5. And uh, I'm trying to remember, I think these are going to go for about 50 bucks. So that a really good deal. And uh, guess what? These normally $7.99, but a pink tag. Um, I don't know. There we go. They're pink tagged. So I got these for a dollar. So this is going to be a really, really good flip. All, and it, it's like I said, it's, it needs some cleaning. But you know what? What's going to fix this is a little bit of shout spray. Scrub it with a toothbrush. Let it soak for about 20 minutes. Drop it in the wash cold on gentle cycle. They're going to come out looking brand new. Um, what doesn't come off, little magic eraser might get off. So I think these are going to clean up really well, and we're going to make a nice flip. Um, something else I've got to clean up a little bit, but, uh, it, well, <laughs> these things, these are called boobahs. Um I've come across one of them before at a different thrift store here in town. Um, in, yeah, in really rough condition. This one's not great. It's got some scuffs. It's got some scrapes, but Magic Eraser, um, maybe a Clorox wipe, something like that, I think is going to clean up the head. It's like a, a hard, hard plastic head. And then it's a soft, like, plushy body. You push on the toe, and it does... I don't, I don't remember these. Okay, that's, that's enough. I don't remember these things at all, but I, I guess some people do because these sell routinely for $20 plus shipping. So I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of boobahs before until I started doing this, and I found the other one, looked it up, and it was in rough shape. I didn't want to pick it up for the price that it was at. But this one, uh, tag $4.99, pink tag. We got it for a buck. Uh, even if it doesn't clean up, it, you know, it's got a little bit of scuffing and stuff like that. There are stickers on the bottom, but I think a little bit of a, uh, like a hairdryer and the Scotty peeler, I think that's going to pull those things right up. Um, I could undercut everybody because of the condition issues and still sell this for $15 plus shipping and it's going to move. So, uh, Biba. Biba, boobas. keep an eye out for these things. They're so weird. All right. Now let's move <laughs> I think it's so weird. Let's move on to the stuff that I picked up uh, yesterday. This is stuff I picked up at Good Sam. Uh, and remember, I went in specifically looking for shoes, and that's mostly what we got. We picked up three pairs of shoes, but I picked up something fantastic on the way out the door, and I'm going to show you that. But first, we're going to do the shoes. Um, the first ones that I found are these. Um, these are Nikes, and if you notice, what caught my eye initially um, is the tag this is an old nike tag now this isn't actually an old nike tag it's a remake of an old nike tag but the the orange swoosh that's what caught my attention so um came back looked at these these are the old waffle if you know the story of uh nike the first uh bottoms of the shoes when uh when they made those it was a waffle iron pattern uh it came from a waffle iron and that's what these are. These were reissued in uh, 2005. And these are in fantastic shape for being 15 years old. Um, these were reissued in 2005, just as sort of a, a look back at where Nike came from. Just a basic black waffled running shoe. Um, if you want to look these up, they are, oh, it's not on the tag on the, or on the tongue on this one. It's on the side. These are... 303-918-007. These are size nine and a half. So a really good size. And not that many of them available. 
which makes sense because they're what 15 years old and these are in really good shape i'm going to run these through the wash just because um they could do with a little bit of cleaning uh got these for eight dollars and they ought to sell for fifty dollars uh probably free ship the the ones that have sold have been fifty dollars free ship um they're pretty light they're, they're pushing first class but uh, if not, they go in a padded flat rate envelope. It'll be $7.33. So uh, if they sell for $50, we're going to make a really nice profit on these. So keep an eye out for the old Nikes or the new old Nikes. Um, the next ones that I found, also Nikes. Now, these ones, um, I looked up the number um, because Nike, if you don't know, Nikes are the easiest shoes to look up and, and, and to comp because they all have a number. These ones also, usually it's on, or I don't know about usually, often it's on the underside of the tongue. Um, these two shoes, for some reason, it's on the side. So it's in here on the side. If not, it'll be uh, underneath on the tongue there. But these are 313-605-801. Now I'll look more, but uh, I looked in the store, I could only find one of these listed and none sold. So there's no sales history. I could look on uh, Terapeak and see what's going on there uh, and see if we have anything. Um, but they were, uh, they were 10 bucks. So it took a little bit of a flyer on them, but they're Nike, they're, they're cool looking. Um, there's only one pair listed and it's listed at 79.95 or 99 or something. It's listed at 80 bucks plus shipping. Um, these are the dirtiest pair that I picked up. Uh, it's got the suede on there. So that's going to be, I, I got to see if I can figure out how to get this cleaned up. Um, I think some gentle, uh, cleaning should still clean up the suede. And I think the, the uppers will clean off too. We'll see. Um, I think they'll clean up pretty well. Um, and considering there's just one listed, I'm going to give it a shot. Their size, what size are they? They're bigger. They're size 10. So not, not terrible. That's actually a pretty good size. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, the only one listed is for 80 bucks. So if we put these up for, for 50, like the other ones, um, put them up for 49.99 plus shipping. And, uh, as long as we can get these cleaned up, I think they're going to move while well, they'll move before the other ones probably. Right. Cause the other ones are pre-owned as well. So, um, we're going to give these a shot. And the only other pair that I picked up, these are Solomon. Uh, if you keep an eye out for, uh, Solomon, they make running shoes, but they also make hiking shoes and these are in really good shape and people are going to start running getting to the gym they're also going to start when the weather gets nice going out on the hiking trails right so these are really cool looking shoes this the name brand is what caught my eye solomon um and so looked them up and the comps are pretty good again i think 50 60 bucks something like that on these um they're a little bit dirty but the bottoms are there's a lot of life left on them they're really pretty clean so we're going to, we're going to do all right on these. These were nine bucks. And, uh, once again, 50 or 60 bucks. So we're going to, we're going to turn like $150 on these three pair of shoes probably. So that's awesome. That's really, really good. But that's not as good as the one single thing that I said, you know what? I think I'm done. And I was headed to the register and something caught my eye that was in, uh, in the glass case up front. I think y'all know that typically glass case stuff, not that great, um, at Goodwill here, it's hit and miss. Um, they had some old spawn figures from McFarlane that were cool, but they had them at 12 bucks and I think they sell for about 20. Uh, so stuff like that, uh, stuff that you'd look at if you didn't know, if you weren't in the reselling that looks like it would be worth a lot and collectible, but it's just not cause there's so many of them. Stuff like that is, is a lot of times in there, but let me show you this. This is awesome. I'm really excited about this. Okay, guys, this is what I found walking out the door. I have it hanging up on the wall in my garage because I wanted to test it out and make sure that it kept time. And it's been going now for five hours. So Garfield officially works. Look here, it's a Sunbeam from 1978. How cool is that? So we found Garfield, um, the alarm clocks can do okay, but that thing, I didn't, I had no idea how much it would be when I, uh, when I comped that thing. There is a model number on the back. So you look up the model number and there is currently one listed. It's at auction 
It's got an opening bid of $99.99. It is new, so it, it, that's, uh, that's a bummer. But it doesn't actually seem to matter. If you look at the sales history, uh, actually, there is one other one listed. They're trying to sell it for $250. Bucks. It's not going to happen. Um, because if you look at the sales history, it's pretty consistent. It's going to sell whether it's new or used at about 150 bucks. 150 bucks, guys. Um, now, the, there have been new ones that pushed 160, 170. I think the last sold that was new was 187. So what I'm going to do, I think the auction is going for another four days, something like that. So I have to wait that out. Um, I don't want to be competing with that one since it's the only other one other than the $250 one. So I'm going to wait that one out and I'm going to clean mine up a little bit. There's some scuffs on there. I think I can clean most of those up. And I paid up. Um, we paid, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> paid up. We paid 25 bucks for that guy. 25 bucks. Um, and it's going to turn in 150 bucks plus shipping, I think. So keep an eye out for the old Garfield clocks because he is... Uh, He's king of the thrift hall today. So thank you, Garfield. And thank all of you for watching. Uh, tell me what you want to see this year. I'm still learning how to do the YouTube thing. Uh, we did really well uh, part-time on eBay this last year. I mean, our numbers are fantastic. I'm thrilled. Um, now we're working on making sure we figure out and do the taxes right because that's, you know, everything that I do here is new. Um, and so I'm excited because I'm about three weeks away from being into, oh, I've been here before. Our very first sale, I'll put it up over here. Uh, the, the very first sale uh, was uh, in January of now last year. So we're approaching our one-year anniversary for eBay. Uh, this is like approaching our two-month anniversary on YouTube. So thanks to all who have subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, I promise these are going to get better, and I think we're passing along some good information here. So subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, hit the thumbs up thing, whatever we got to do uh, to get people over here. Um, I'm hoping we get 500 by the end of the year. So I, I think that's achievable. I think we can do that, and I'm going to keep putting out content, and hopefully you guys appreciate it and hopefully you guys get something out of it because that's what I'm doing it for. I learned an awful lot from the folks on YouTube watching those videos, so I want to do the same for somebody else to start now. So that's what we've got for today. Happy New Year, uh, and uh, I, I hope you've had a good holiday season with uh, friends and family, and you're getting geared up, I think, July or July. I think January. Um, I think January is going to be... Uh, uh, I stayed up too late last night. January is going to be pretty good. People are starting to buy some things for themselves. They've got the eBay gift cards. I think we're going to have a busy month. And it'll slow down after that for a little bit, but that'll give you a chance to organize the inventory and get ready for garage sale season, right? That's what we got. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you truly. I appreciate you watching this. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Also, also, here's my dog. Say hi, Jaeger. Can you shake? No, shake, shake, God, shake, good boy. Other, oh, there you go. You're going to be pretty for the camera. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy.